Hi, I'm Robert Adu with theamath.org, and we are talking about matrices now at the YouTube studios in Los Angeles, California. Kramer's rule is, is just, it's crazy. I don't know how this guy comes up with this stuff. This was like in the year, I believe it was 1750, he came up with this rule. And we're still talking about it. It's crazy. It's a way to solve matrices using his specific method, okay? So let's actually do that now. So first of all, we have a system of equations here, two equations with two unknowns, and we have to find the value of x and y that fits both. Now we know the methods to solve this. We can do like the elimination method. That would work fine. I'd like to actually do that just to get the answer in our minds so that we know sort of where the mountaintop is, and then we can apply Kramer's rule to see if we get the same thing. Okay, so if we're gonna do this elimination method, we could actually maybe subtract this equation from that, all right? As long as we do the same thing to both sides of the equation, we're good. So it turns out that this is the same as four. So as long as we subtract this whole side from here and this whole side from here, we're going to get balance again within our subtraction. So let's do that. Be sure to distribute the negative. 2x minus 2x, gone. 3y minus negative y is positive 4y. 12 minus 4 equals 8. Notice we went from two equations to one equation, which is solvable, and now y equals 2. So if these are two lines and they cross at a point, they definitely cross at something, comma, 2. How do we get that something? We plug in the 2 into either one, and out will come x. Let's go ahead and do it in the first one. We could do it in the second as well, but we'll do the first. So that's 2x, let's write it down, 2x plus 3 times, okay, plugging in 2, there you go. So that's 2x plus 6 equals 12. You okay, board? Easel, E. Easy, easel, easy. 2x plus 6, subtract 6 on both sides, that's 2x equals 6 and x equals 3. All right, so there's our answer. These two lines cross at 3, 2. 3, 2 is the solution to this system. Now let's solve using our friend Cosmo. Here's Kramer's rule. What he determined was that we need to use determinants, okay? To solve for x, you have two determinants. One we'll call dx and one we'll call d. D is the original determinant of the two by two. We can go ahead and do that now to get warmed up. So the determinant of the two by two is, put it in, this is two, this is three, this is two, this is negative one. Notice I just took the coefficients. All right, and then what we do is we multiply these two, let's circle it, and then subtract the red circle. There you go. So that's negative 2 minus 6. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. So the original determinant is negative 8. All right? Now this new determinant we call dx. This is all it is. It's the original 2 by 2 matrix, just like this one, with the exception of Removing the x column, because x is what we're solving for, removing the x column and putting in the answers in their place. How do you come up with that? Like seriously let that in. I'm, it's above my head. It's above my head. Here's what I mean. We'll do it again. dx equals, okay, the original 2 by 2 matrix. So we have the 3 and we have the negative 1 here. But instead of the x column, since we're solving for x, we put in the answers, 12, 4. And we get the determinant of that. Let's do it. Multiply the blues. That's my blues album coming out next, um, Over Country. It's about uh, how your blues just tends to multiply the more you get them. Multiply the blues and then subtract the reds. The red is like all the love in your life. Like, I got no love in my life. 
Subtract the blues and subtract the reds. I got no love said it in my life. Let's see what it is. That's negative 12 minus 12. If you look closely, negative 12 minus 12. That becomes negative 24. That's dx. We put that there, negative 24. And if you recall from our solving our system before, x was none other than 3. There it is. That's pretty amazing that x is 3, right? So we put that over here. And then in order to get y, you could also plug it in, right? Just like we did before. You could plug x in as 3. Or you can just note that dy, right, is the same rule as dx's. Let's put y here, here. So we have y is dy. We'll get rid of this. Again, original matrix, just like it was before, with the exception of the y column, because now we're solving for y. Make your y's consistent, boy. There you go. So let's keep the x column, exchange the y column. That's 12 and 4. The original matrix determinant is still negative 8. That goes there. And now we're going to get the determinant of this, 2 by 2. Multiply the blues, subtract the reds on order now on Spotify. So that's uh, 8 minus 24. That is negative 16. Put that there. And indeed, we got 2 before, if I recall correctly. 3, 2. Yeah, 3, 2. It's true. 3, 2. It's pretty special. It's pretty amazing that this guy came up with this rule. This is Kramer's rule. This is what it is. And it works for 3 by 3s as well. We're not going to solve the entire 3 by 3. We'll set one up for you. Yeah. All right, so this is a 3 by 3. You'll notice I went straight to matrix notation. This is a 3 by 3 system. This is 1x plus 2y plus z equals 10. 2x minus y plus 3 equals negative 5. 2x minus 3y minus 5z is 27. So I went straight to matrix notation. If you're comfortable with that, that's cool. Now, if you wanted to get um, x, solving for x, OK? That's determinant of x over the original determinant, OK? So the original determinant is this thing, right? Determinant of that, of the original matrix. And if you recall, to get dx, it's the same exact matrix. The only exception, replacing the x column with the answer column. So we'll put those down for you. So instead of the x column, we're putting 10, negative 5, 27. And you see that the x column is now replaced by the answers. And the rest of the matrix is intact. Negative 1, 3, negative 3, negative 5. All right. All right. And then the next component of this video, I'm actually going to show you how to do determinants of a 3 by 3 on your calculator, OK? So I'm just going to confirm how to do that now. I already inputted these two matrices. I put in dx um, into one matrix. I'm going to get its determinant. That is mm -hmm, 294. See, what's interesting, that's perfect that we're bringing it up. I didn't know what number it would be. But once you understand how to get the determinant of a 3 by 3, I would definitely suggest switching to calculator mode. Because then once you understand how to do it, you can be challenged on that process. Then once you master it, then we can switch to technology and actually be able to use Kramer's rule more effectively using technology as our, as our aid. Right? We don't have to get lost in the number crunching all the time. All right. So de finding the determinant of this it would be very time consuming. We did another video on it. But now that we know how to do it, we can just go to the calculator and understand, like, OK, yeah, I know how to do it. But now, now that I've mastered it, I've graduated to using tech. All right? And then we can get the other matrix, the original matrix, down here. This is crazy. It's just a click of a button, 42. So 294 divided by 42 is 7. So if these answers were x, y, z, it's definitely 7 something something. 
right, just to set you up on the next one, y would be dy over d, which you replace the y column with the answers, and z equals dz over d. dz! Sounds familiar. That might be a friend of mine that has I do his initials. What's up, dz? It's like, if you're listening, I don't know who you are right now, but um, it's in my mind somewhere in the subconscious. Uh, and then just take this off and put it in its place, right? Take the Z column out and then replace with the answer column, right? Okay, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do this on the calculator. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you, Kramer, for uh, your incredible rule. It was freaking 300 years ago and such, whatever, a little less. But that's amazing, and we're still talking about you, so you should be so honored. Okay, Jay. I gotta go, I gotta go. Oh, oh, oh. That's a terrible Kramer impression. <laughs> Bye.